Don't touch me! What is going on? Like, what are you, are you gonna get this shut mad at me when I'm shut apologizing shut to you? No, Christian. Like, you're thinking I'm doing it on- Drop your ad- I'm drop not, your high pitch. Okay, I'm not doing it on purpose. You trust the R, you know well. The right thing to do is to tell me. Yes, and I am so sorry. So shut up and let me slap you. Give me my phone. You have your phone. I don't have it anymore. Find it and charge it. On the docket tonight, the case against Courtney Clenny, you just heard that argument back and forth. That was one of many instances. There's some verbal abuse by Courtney Clenny. He's, he's apologizing, then she said, I'm going to slap you. This is a woman who ended up stabbing and killing Christian Obamselli. She had a huge career on the OnlyFans site, taking off her clothes, engaging in sexual acts, sometimes by herself and sometimes with Christian. He's now dead. She's charged with murder, and uh, today we heard from Christian's family with their attorneys. They were speaking out after uh, another pretrial hearing today. Um, Christian, known uh, to his family as Toby, so you'll hear them refer to someone named Toby. That's uh, uh, Christian Obamselli, his middle name is Toby. Um, but an incredibly tragic case because this was a toxic relationship. There was a lot of history of domestic violence, yet somehow, some way, he was still there and he ended up getting stabbed to death. Let's take a listen to the attorneys and the family for Christian Obamselli. We have brought a civil lawsuit against the property owner, uh, Juan Parazo, the management company, and the security company that was there at that condo for this tragedy where Christian lost his life. We have sued for wrongful death on behalf of uh, Christian's parents uh, for the damages that they have suffered in this case. Uh, we have sued Courtney Clinton, uh in this case, which is rare. We've sued her, sued her because of the pattern that she exhibited and what she did when she committed this murder. I'm gonna turn it over now to Larry Hanfeld to talk to you about the status of the criminal case. This is only another destination in route to seek justice for the Ambicelli family. Finally, criminal charges were brought, but I think it goes a little further. Justice, true justice will not be served until those responsibles are held to account. Um, as relates to the criminal case, we had court this morning, a status conference. The next status conference will be July 7th. Uh, I anticipate uh, this case um, may have a trial date set sometime the end of this year. We've lost so much beyond just Toby, um, my aunt, um, has never been the same. She is marked with a, a, a sadness and anger and grief that will likely never go away. Nobody could have anticipated this. Um, we, unfortunately, I think that this case has really brought up the dynamics and the biases that we have when it comes to domestic violence, especially when the woman is the aggressor. Um, and it has, really just opened our eyes um, and we're taking it day by day. My family's very tight knit. We were all raised together. Um, the cousins are our siblings. We confide, uh, confide in one another. And so um, it was very shocking to learn the details of their very tumultuous and toxic relationship. But I think that that again gives credence to the severity of domestic violence and the victims not ha having an outlet to truly speak uh, um, about what they're enduring. Let's bring back in our think tank and Brett Rick King, Michael Sterling. Michael, this is a, a, a classic domestic violence case on the one hand. On the other hand, it's, it's different as uh, Christian's cousin was saying where we don't usually think of the man as the victim but everything we've seen and heard in recordings and in videos points to exactly that you take a look at what happened in this elevator this is just um, indicative of what the nature of this relationship was 
Yeah, and it undercuts what her criminal defense attorney has put out, where he's basically said time and time again he was an aggressor, she was a victim of sex trafficking, he would wait till cameras weren't around, and you know all of these things would happen. But obviously, no one is thinking about. He's not thinking about or looking at cameras on the elevator. He's not thinking of looking about cameras on his private recording. So you know, all of this evidence that we're hearing, the actual physical evidence of the recordings of what we're able to see with our own eyes certainly undercuts her attorney's theory of the case or his very aggressive statement where he put out who basically said that she was the victim of his as opposed to vice versa. So I think the family is correct in saying that there is this double standard where when somebody's, and this wasn't her first time stabbing him, right? We also know she has stabbed him before where he survived the previous stabbing. So, you know, it, it seems like uh, Vinny, uh, you know, her attorney put out this really aggressive statement before understanding all of the facts. And I think uh, it does create a double standard where, you know, someone is a victim of, of this type of violence and isn't treated accordingly. And Bremner, how much of the prior incidents should this jury hear about? I think they should hear all of them. You know, it's 404B under the evidence rules, um, common scheme or plan, lack of mistake, you know, that goes to our intent, um, motive, all those kinds of things under the rule. And so it should come in, even though they're prior bad acts, in, in my opinion. And we see those coming in more and more, especially in sexual assault cases. You know, but a DV case, you know, what's the difference? This is something she's done for quite a while. Even though the role reversal is there, it happens. You know, when you have women that are the aggressors in cases like this. I was really concerned about the case against all the other defendants. Maybe I just don't know enough about this, but to actually sue the building and security and everybody else on a, I would assume, like a premise liability kind of a case, failing to protect, I think that's going to be tough. However, people complained all the time, apparently, about arguing. No, it was a thing. Earthquakes. It was a thing in that building. Right, Very close to getting, right. they were getting close to being tossed out of it because this was wow. $12,000 a month people are paying to live in this, in this uh, building down in Miami. It's beautiful. It's on the water wow. and everything else. Uh, but yeah. there was, there was screaming between these two. Rick King, you're down there in Florida. Uh, does the jury get to see and hear some of this prior violence? I, I agree with Ann. I think um, under 404B, it's going to come in. Uh, there is, a, you know, there, there is that the common scheme, and and she is, uh, uh, you know, she is uh, clearly, as Michael said, and, and the videos and all of the uh, all of the the recordings. I mean, and the one recording she says to him, "Okay, just stop and, and let me slap you in the face." So I think it's, I think it comes in.